temperatures are bad enough, right? But on top of that, thousands of Montgomery County residents are enduring this sweltering heat without power today. Potomac Edison says an animal came into contact with electrical equipment causing the outage in Germantown. It affected more than 6,500 customers. Crews are still working to restore power, but for some, it's been hours since their lights and, of course, AC went out. News 4's Mauricio Casillas joins us now live with a look at how residents are coping now. Mauricio? Hey there, good evening to you, Jim. And you know, it's more than just a nuisance. It's become a scary situation at this intersection behind me. Take a look. This is the intersection of Ridge Road and Observation Drive, and the intersection lights are out. You can notice there was a crash that took place. This happened just about 30 minutes ago before we came on air, and now police are redirecting traffic as cars have to go one by one. So this is essentially just... As, as if it were stop signs, a scary situation. But it's not just the intersection that's being impacted, Jim. Local businesses as well are being impacted by this. We'll notice that there are some without power. That includes a PetSmart, which posted a sign on its front door that read, temporarily closed due to outage. And we also spoke to some residents in a nearby neighborhood where the power has been out since two this afternoon. Those I spoke with say they're a little frustrated, but they're doing what they can to stay cool and make sure their food doesn't spoil. So I took the stuff that was particularly sensitive after two hours and put it into a separate cooler that I know will stay a little bit, you know, it's a smaller space. And I didn't open my freezer any more than to get out the ice packs. So I'm doing fine. Uh, they think they'll have it back on by about 11 p.m., which is a little bit concerning, obviously. You know, we got food in the freezer, food in the fridge, and um, it's just, you know, just normal discomfort. But, but it's a first world problem, so I'm not complaining too much. And you know, as you just heard there, that is what we're hearing from the electric company that the outage should be, or power should be restored rather by 11 p.m. And let's hope it happens soon, Jim, because as you can see behind me, it's a scary situation here at this intersection. Back to you. We've heard about that pet smart there again, Mauricio. You mentioned that. Uh, how is that being impacted by the outage and what are they doing to keep the animals in there safe? Yeah, it's a good question, Jim. That's the same thing I asked to a worker who was there, and she told me that's the reason that they shut down, because they want to keep the store as cold as possible. That's why they close their doors, to keep that cool air inside. She also did tell me that, thankfully, they do have some portable fans that they're using to keep those animals safe. Jim? Every little bit helps. All right, Mauricio, thanks so much.